What's going on, y'all? Matt Garland here, NMLS number 58700, or better known as MG, the mortgage guy. We are live. We are blessed. Thank God for another day. Make sure you guys drop a gem in the comment for your boy MG. If you're a real estate professional, drop all your information in the comments because you never know who's watching the channel who might need your assistance. So put your name, email, any information you want to put in there, what cities you're servicing, et cetera, so that way my audience knows who the hell you are, all right? And make sure you guys go to mgbookstore.com. Go to mgbookstore.com. Pick up the latest and greatest books, House Economics, The Real Estate Investors Manifesto. I'm thinking about doing a um, a buy one, get one. Yo, what's up with this wire? I just noticed this wire is like hanging and shit. I think about doing a, a buy one, get one. Where, where's Tooks when you need them? <laughs> I think about doing a buy one, get one pre-sale coming soon. So y'all stay tuned for that. Go to mgbookstore.com. All right. So I had to fix that real quick. Uh, happy Monday, Shannon, Elise, everybody. What's happening? Trey ATL 2006. How are you guys today? I'm feeling good. I feel like my, my YouTube sign is not shown. There we go. There we go. I had to fix a few things before we go ahead and get started. So I was having some great calls today with my mentees and shout out to all my mentees. Vaughn, shout out to you, Vaughn. All my OG mentees. I'm about to reach out to y'all tomorrow. All my OG mentees who's watching this, who's in MG Mortgage Academy. If you signed up to part of my mentorship program last year, I'm reaching out to all the OGs, the ones who are on the one year tomorrow and Wednesday. Um, Cause I got some changes that's happening. But we'll talk about that later. So, but I was having, I said all that to say, I was having uh, some great conversations today. And during one of my calls, this question came up. Should I buy down my rate, Matt, or should I put more money down? And I said, this is a great, probably a great conversation that I need to have on live on the podcast, Rants and Gems. Because I get this all the time. And most people think that it's better sometimes to put more money down. Where I am a fan of OPM. Type in chat OPM. Other people's money. Other people's money. Meaning the bank's money versus using your money. So I think what we're going to do today, I'm going to go to one of these trusty calculators. But let me ask you guys... Let's do a little mini poll. I feel like I'm off right now. <laughs> I'm tripping today. So let me ask you guys in the questions before we I even get into my whole one, two thing, right? Should you buy your rate down? Or should you put more money now? So Vaughn says, I'm so happy you're discussing this because after listening to Carter, shout out to C Carter Cofield. I'm wondering if I should have done a three, two, one. If you can explain it more, I would appreciate it. Shout out to Carter. He came into the community, um, into my mortgage academy and taught a hell of a tax class. That tax class, I learned how to write off my dog in that tax class. That was amazing, right? Um, but we'll talk about the two, one buy down in a second. All right. Oh, uh, wait, hold on. Got to put this one up here. Shout out to Shannon. She said, you're getting so small. Things seem so bigger now. Pause. That is a fact. I'm losing. I'm the weight. The weight is starting to melt off. Listen, I get five figures return because of Carter. Shout out to Carter. Make sure you go follow my brother, Carter Cofield. He will be back in the academy. So I thought about this question. But let me ask you guys this, right? Should you buy down your rate or put more money down? What would you do before I get to all my math and everything like that? And yo, Vaughn, you see I got my Apple pen, right? You see I got my Apple pen. So I learned something else in that damn class too. <laughs> How to use your Apple pen on your iPad while you're doing a Zoom and I can write and do my thing. I got my Apple pen. So Academy members, 
we're going to get busy this week. <laughs> so Jay Jones says, buy down the rate if you're going to do it. Okay. No, that's Trey. Trey said, shout out to Trey. Trey said, buy down your rate if you're going to. I'm going to keep the property. Okay. Okay, people saying depends. <laughs> yeah, it's not cheap. It definitely ain't cheap. Okay, buy down your rate. Let's see. Buy down your rate if you're going to be in a home long term. Okay, so nobody's saying put down more money right now. Which I'm actually proud of y'all for not saying that. So for me... I'm not a fan of putting more money down. I don't want to put more money down. I'd rather put the least amount of money down and use that other money to do other investments, fix up the house, whatever the case may be. Buy down means put more money down. No, not necessarily. Because a lot of people think they got to go to 10%, 20%, and they think it's going to make a huge difference on the um on their um payment so let me share the screen real quick type yes in chat if you can see my screen please type yes in chat if you can see my screen type yes in chat if you can see my screen i feel like i need to make this a little bit bigger Let's see. No, I don't like it that way. <clears throat> Let's see. Let's see. Can I make it? No, I don't like it like that. Yeah, I like it like that. Let me take me off the screen. Okay. I think this works better by removing me off the screen. Can y'all see it better now? Because I'm looking at it on my phone too, and I just want to make sure we're all on the same page. If you're watching it from your phone or your YouTube, it probably looks really clean right now. But type type in chat if you can kind of see it better. All right. So it's my trusty calc one of the trusty calculators that I use. I love this this website. So what I'm gonna do is right now, just so you guys can have access to this, I'm going to put this link in the chat for the website that I'm on. a big ass link kind of okay so let's just use this link came out crazy y'all i'm sorry i don't know why it came out like that in the chat but whatever go to calculator.net so let's use it let's use an example let's use a realistic example of 500,000 right and let's just say you're doing 500,000 with 5% down payment 30 year term let's just say you got Amazing credit, and you can get a 6.875% on a conventional loan today. Let's use the PMI as a percentage of 0.5. Doesn't mean it's going to be a PMI. I'm just using this as an example, right? And let's hit calculate, right? So your monthly mortgage payment for your principal interest will be 31.20. And again, your property taxes, homeowners insurance, your PMI, it'll bring your total payment up to $39.53, right? And that's at 5% down. Let's just call this 5% down with no points. Now, if you're doing points, if you're buying points, now this is not a, a, a 2 1 or a 3 2 1 buy down. You know, this is a permanent buy down we're speaking of when I say buy points. So if we do a, a a permanent buy down, every point that you spend is going to be the equivalent of 0.25 to 0.375% lower in interest rate. Now type in chat, if the home price is 500,000, right? No, 
sorry, the home price is five hundred thousand, but you're putting down you're, you're financing four hundred and seventy five thousand in this scenario, right? So if your loan amount is four seventy five and you're paying one point, type in chat how much is the point? Type in chat how much is the point? If you're financing in this scenario. Four seventy five. And you're buying one point. Type in chat, y'all. How much is that one point going to cost you? I wish I had some Jeopardy music. Do, 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 do. How much is one point? That's why I'm asking y'all. Come on. I need y'all to, to know these things, right? This is why we're doing this. How much is one point on 475000 that you're borrowing? Type in chat. Don't y'all be in the back of the class, all 100 of y'all. Okay. I'll do a 200000 example, Mr. Getting It, but let's, let's stick to what, what I'm asking. <laughs> okay. Type in chat. If you're borrowing four seventy five, how much is one point? on 475 and some of you Vaughn you got it right Gavin you have it right Rod Rodley you have it right Shannon you have it right so remember y'all every point is the equivalent of one percent of your loan amount so now if you buy down one point now remember this number 3150 3120 okay remember that number 3120 so now if you buy down one point and it takes, let's just say it takes you three eighths of a point, right? So you go from, let's just say 6.875% to take away 0.375%. It will take you to 6.5% interest rate. 3120. So now that would bring your payment to your principal and interest from now will go to $3,002. So that 1% that you just paid or 47, 47.50, that just saved you about $120, right? And if you did two points, let's just say it brought you down to, and you know what, let me, because I got a screenshot all of this so I can remember for myself. So let's just say if you did two points, that would probably, let's just call it, it'll bring you to six and a quarter, right? That'll bring you to 29.26. 29, well, 29.24, excuse me. 2924. You're tracking, you're following. Now you spent damn near ten thousand dollars or two percent. Now let's just go back now to the base rate. So that saved you about a hundred. What did we start off at? 31, 3120. So 3120 take away 2924. How much is that that we save y'all? Type it in chat. So if you brought down two points, 2%, you spent 2% on buying down your rate, a permanent rate buy, right? You started off at 3120. Now you're at 2924. Family, how much did you save by doing two points? Type it in chat, please. How much did you save? by doing two points. Type in chat. Okay, $196. Vaughn says it's not enough. Vaughn says it's not enough. Right. Okay. So 
let's just let's put more money down. Let's go back to our 6.875, our base rate. And let's just say you put down 10% bond, which on 500,000 is another 50,000. Look at the monthly payment. 29.56. So Vaughn, you just said it's not enough. So would you rather put more money down versus buying down your rate? Look at the monthly payment. The principal and interest payment is 29.56 now with putting down 10% versus 5%. Nope, the down payment wasn't zero before. The down payment was 5% before. So this is what I was trying to show you. And, I, and, I, and I'm happy that you said, no, that was not with no money down. Let me do it again. Let me, let me put it back to 5% down payment. Let me recalculate it. 3120 at 5% down, zero points. Right? 10% down, zero points, 29.56. So would you rather spend two points on your buy down, a little bit less than $10,000, or would you rather put down another 50,000 on a half a million dollar home and bring your down payment higher to 10%, now you got a hundred k down payment. You're financing. You're financing now four fifty instead of four seventy five, right? But now your monthly principal and interest is twenty nine fifty six. Right? So think about this, y'all. Look at the, the path is always math, ladies and gentlemen. The path is always math. So I think when we said the two points, it would have got your payment to 29, 24 principal and interest. So look at that. Because the interest rate and your, and your down payment is your principal interest. See, your escrow and all that other shit, that's why I'm not talking about that because that's irrelevant. We're talking about P&I, what you paying back the bank. So why am I going to give up another $50,000? I mean, sorry, another $25,000. Excuse me. Why am I going to give up another $25,000 when I can give up $10,000, finance a little bit more, and have a much lower payment. It's still $25 cheaper. So is it worth it for me to put down the extra $25,000? No. In my professional opinion. Who the hell putting down 10%? A lot of people, Vernon. A lot of people. But this is the and, and when the when the question was posed to me by one of my mentees today, I said, Oh my God, I should talk about this. I appreciate that, Vernon, saying you ain't got it. A lot of people don't. And I appreciate your transparency. But if you ain't got it, if you got the 5%, don't worry. Just do the 5%. Because if you do the 10%, you're still going to have to do another 5% with closing costs, too. So you, you're coming out of pocket with 15% to close the deal. Errol, you know what's better than college? Let me, let me tell you what's better than college, Errol. Let me put that on the screen. MG Mortgage Academy.
<laughs> That's what's better than college, right? MG Mortgage Academy. Go to MG. Hold the hell on. Hold the hell on. Let me put me back on the screen, please. You know what's better than college, Errol? MG Mortgage Academy. This is the finest real estate education you're going to get on the planet. Okay? On the planet. Go to mgmortgageacademy.com. Become a member today. I think I still got this flash sale going on. Get in for $197 annually. Become a mentee while it's still available. That's all. That's all I got. But this is way better than college. And my academy is 10 times better than all of this. Now, let me get back to the presentation. Because I had to put that out there. You left it open for me, pause. Okay. Let's get back to business. Let's get back to business. All my academy members, am I lying or am I lying? Type yes or no in chat. If I'm a liar, call me a liar then. But if you're a part of the academy, please, in the comments, let these folks know they're missing out. And somebody put the link in the comment for me too. Now, now, let's do some, the path is always math, ladies and gentlemen. This is what I will always be saying to you, right? Now, somebody might say, well, Matt, what if I did the same 10% down and did the same two-point buy down and I still got that same six and a quarter? Okay. Then your payment is $27.70. So, but now you're spending an extra $35,000 just to save another $200? That don't make sense to me either. The path is always math, ladies and gentlemen. The path is always math. Then somebody might say, hey, Matt, I don't like PMI. So I'd rather just do 20% down. Right? Now, look, this is 20% down. If you did 20% down, no points, let's just say the rate is 6.875%. With no PMI, let's take away the PMI. Let's calculate this. You're looking at a 2627 principal and interest payment. But now you have to come out of pocket with a down payment of 100K plus your closing costs. A hundred K plus your closing costs. Me personally. I'd rather pay the PMI because if you got the PMI, let's just say the PMI is, what was it? A hundred and, oh, where it go? Percentage, let me calculate this bad boy. Oh, let me put it back to 10% so it'll calculate it. Your PMI is $208 a month. And look, they have a calculation here at 20,000 on PMI. Let me see something. Oh, you know what they're doing? Look, it says private mortgage on private by lender is borrowed, unable to repay the loan. So you have, if the down payment is less than 20%, it's by the loan process PMI. So what they're probably doing is calculating if you have PMI for like, so 208, let me do my math real quick. 208 times 12, it's 2,400. They're calculating like if you have PMI for eight years, basically, seven years, let's say seven years. Yep, it's like eight years. So even if you pay PMI for eight years, it's $20,000. It ain't a hundred. I'd rather pay PMI. I'd rather not put that all that money to the loan because look guys when you put down 20 percent, look what the payment went to the payment didn't really do much it went to 2600 now remember if we did the five percent loan two points it was 2900 so 
I'm saving three hundred dollars a month essentially to put up another seventy five grand. That's thirty six hundred dollars a year. Fuck that. This is just my opinion. I'm just giving you the math and just showing you guys, because again, one of my mentees brought this question to me, and I thought it was valid to talk about it tonight on Rant Rants and Gems. You got to do your math. You got to do the math. The path is always math, ladies and gentlemen. Are y'all following what I'm, what I'm doing right here? Are y'all following? Type yes and no in chat if you follow me. SW, you got you 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 tracking over here. I see what you're doing over there, SW. Five percent down payment on five hundred K is twenty five thousand. Ten percent five hundred twenty nine six months. Yep. 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 So you spend ninety five hundred to get to twenty nine twenty four, versus you sitting here spending an extra hundred thousand just to get up to a principal interest payment of twenty six twenty seven. I rather just pay the and do a permanent buy down. Do I need to re-explain this class? <laughs> yeah, I feel like I'm in teacher mode right now. Do I need to re-explain this? I can't wait till I hook up this pen on my iPad and get busy. Do I need to re-explain this? Yes or no? Somebody let me know. I can't wait till I'm able to do this with the iPad. Vaughn, I'm happy you're here too. Shout out to Vaughn. I'll be calling you tomorrow. All my mentees, I'm calling y'all. I'm going to give you a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. So Vernon said, what if your property taxes go up and you can't afford the mortgage? Sell the house, Vernon. Sell the house. Look, ladies and gentlemen, if you can't afford something, sell it. We can't be emotionally tied to none of these things. Sell the house, make your money, and get back into a level where you can afford things. Don't hold on to anything that you can't afford. It makes absolutely no sense. People holding on to property and they can't afford it. If you have equity, sell that shit. And now take that money to restart your life again. Who wants to live paycheck to ch paycheck, broke, broke and ugly and stuck? Like, who wants to live like that? That is not a good life. I'm sorry. It is just not a good life. It's not good. So if your property taxes go up to a point where it's unaffordable, sell it. Get rid of it. Angela says, can you buy down the rate to 4%? Is that allowed? If you do a two or three, two, one buy down, yes, you can do that. But not with a, a regular buy down, a permanent buy down, no. But with a three, two, one buy down, if the seller is willing to give you a seller's concession of that magnitude, then yes, it could work. Being house poor and stress ain't it. That is a fact. And I just want to keep it real. I'm just, I'm just saying that just to keep it real. Don't stress, man. It ain't worth it. Ain't no piece of real estate worth the stress. Get rid of that shit. Let somebody else stress out. 
Take your money and run. Uh, please explain the three, two, one buy down. You know, I filmed a whole course on this. I didn't release it to the academy yet. I might do it next week. I might do it live. I don't really think I like the way it came out. I think I want to re-record it. Um, but basically, a three-two-one buy down or a two-one buy down is basically. Let's just say if the rate started off at six point eight seven five percent, the rate will be three percent lower the first year. So what's that? Five four. So it'll be three point eight seven five percent the first year. Then year two, it will be. Uh, what's that? Four point eight seven five percent. Then year three, it will be uh five point seven five percent. And then year four, it will go to six point eight seven five percent for the life of the loan. Now, in order for this to happen, is you have to do what's called a seller's concession. So the difference in the savings from every year compared to the note rate, which is a 6.875% in this example, that savings. So let's just say if you save in 5,000 year one, 3,000 year two, and 2,000 year three for a total of $10,000, the seller will have to give you a seller's concession of $10,000 to do the buy down. That's the sh long story short of a buy down. Is seller's concession basically the seller paying the closing costs? Correct. The seller is allowing equity that's in the home to be used so you can finance the closing costs. A vibe person says, well, Insurance is going up crazy now. Everybody cannot just sell. I manage a multifamily property in which the premium went from 200 to 200, is that 200,000 to 350,000 this year? Well, how, first of all, a vibe person, my question to you is how many units is this multifamily? Because this seems like a very large increase and it seems like this is a property probably over a hundred units um yes miss betty we have a call tomorrow looking forward to it um that is a huge increase and yeah shit happens it sucks gotta find new insurance it's unfortunate it is very unfortunate very unfortunate and SW is right. Don't forget to like the video, ladies and gentlemen, if you learned something today. Is this 321 also for new homes? Yes, it is, Miss Betty. It's for new homes as well. See, look, I know it. 200 units in, in Newark, New Jersey. See, here's the good and bad and ugly of things like this, right? I'm pretty sure that 200 unit in Newark, New Jersey has appreciated so much in equity is absolutely insane um but um, you know and look i'm not making light of this i think it sucks what these insurance companies are doing they just raising the price sometimes ultimately for no reason in my opinion right like what the hell why is it that expensive it's the same building but that's when you just got to shop How you feel about purchasing townhomes instead of single family homes? I think, you know what? That's a very good question, right? Uh, I like townhomes. Someone very close to me just purchased a townhome last year. It was her first home. And it's, it's newly renovated, beautiful, beautiful townhome. And it has no HOA. You know, it's in a quiet nice neighborhood and she loves it you know what i'm saying and it's perfect for for her so i think if you don't have a family you don't have you know maybe you have 
one child or something like that. You know, depending on how many bedrooms that you can get in your townhome. Like, I think townhomes are, 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 are great, especially if it doesn't have no HOA. It's a starter home, right? Whatever happened to people buying starter homes? Everybody want the goddamn mansion. Sorry, you can't live like a lot of these people. Whatever happened to starter homes? And I think a townhome a town a townhouse is a perfect starter home for a person who doesn't have children children or maybe one child right you can get it for a good price affordable mortgage it gets you it gets you into the home ownership game so i love it especially if it doesn't have hoa I work for the state and we are seeing these insurance increases all over the state. It's not the equity. I know it's not the equity. I'm just saying one of the pros is I'm pretty sure that 200, 200 unit in Newark has appreciated ridiculously because Newark is on fire, but also at the same time, these insurance companies are the devil. They want their share and it sucks. Um, no one wants to start from the bottom. I agree. Uh, I wish it was a thing on Long Island. Yes, it is because I'm speaking about Long Island specifically. <laughs> this townhouse was purchased in Long Island and there's plenty of townhouses on Long Island. You just got to look. They there. Father will flip with Hadley Bennett says, nobody wants to start a home. No one wants, no one wants a cape. Everyone wants a high, a huge colonial for starter home prices. That is a fact. That is a fact. Get a cape, get a ranch, get a, get a townhouse. Why do you need a colonial with double, double entry ceilings and foyers? Why do you need a two car garage for one car? Why do you need this big ass backyard? You don't need it. When people send me the houses that they're looking at, I'd be like, why do you need all of this? You can't afford it. How about you look in this neighborhood and get this little townhouse over here? Seems more, more in your, in your price range. People don't want it. Oh, well to them. I guess you're going to continue renting. Why do people assume their first home is their forever home? JG, that is a good question. And I ask that question all the time. Your first home is not going to be your last. Your first home is not going to be your last. And this is why I say just, yo, get in the game if this is what you want to do and move on accordingly. That's my thought process too, JG. You're not going to live there forever. Stay there for two to five years. Figure out your life. Make some more money. And keep it moving from there. HP Supreme, what about Florida? I don't know. You tell me. What are you asking me about Florida? How can you determine how much house you can afford? Vernon York, are you a part of MG Mortgage Academy? Are you a part of MG Mortgage Academy, Mr. Vernon York? And yes, Maureen, a HELOC can be used for home improvement. If you are not a part of MG Mortgage Academy, Mr. Vernon York, I'm waiting for your response. You need to join today. Go to mgmortgageacademy.com. Because in the academy, I have so many lessons on this of how to calculate your own. I, I basically teach you how to be a loan officer. And all the other ish that I got coming out, in all honesty, like not yet, but will be. Well, you better get there before my prices go up because I got a meeting tomorrow with my team. And we're raising the prices to probably 
$1,500 a year because I'm too valuable and the information I give is very valuable. And you know what? My team's been telling me for a very long time, stop giving this thing away for free for $99 or $197 for Elite, where I do Friday calls and everything like this pretty much every Friday. Last Friday, I didn't because we had a press conference. But three Fridays in March, and we're going to do another one this Friday. They're like, yo, why are you doing this like that? And you know what? I happen to agree with them. I happen to agree with them, Mr. Vernon York. So my advice to you or anybody who's watching this, you got 24 hours. You're on the clock. Because <laughs> Wednesday, nine times out of 10, that price is going to say $14.97. Less is more at this point. I'm only inter I'm only interested in buying in Florida. Do you recommend any tips or loan officers? Me and my team can help you in Florida. I already have my own home in Long Island and Nassau. All right, H HP Supreme Crypto, we can help you. Email garlandgroup at unmb.com. Garlandgroup at unmb.com. There you have it. We can help you in Florida. How much is it now? If you want to be a part of the every the weekly calls is one ninety seven. If you just want all the pre recorded stuff that's in there, ninety nine. Um, Storm, you said does House Hackonomics discuss two hundred three k repair info FH loan to build process? No, House Hackonomics does not. Dis discuss any rehab loans and details. Uh, I have courses. Uh, I have old stuff, courses and stuff like that too. I got webinars on 203Ks, but I have new updated courses for 203Ks and Fannie Mae Homestyles coming to the academy. I'm probably going to watch. I'm probably going to do those live. Now that I think about it, instead of doing those pre-recorded, because I know y'all going to have a million and one questions. So I'm going to probably just do those as live classes in April. Matter of fact, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Thank you. Join the Academy, Storm. Join today, mgmortgageacademy.com. You get in for $197 today. By Wednesday, it's going to be $14.97. So join today. Yes, and, and CT as well. So basically, guys, we, we work with everybody on the East Coast, Texas, California, and the Midwest, basically. Holler at your boy, Garland Group at unmb.com. Email us or go to plywoodmg.com. Whatever works for you. We would love to help you. I uh, just left work, so I'm in the middle of commuting home here in L.A. Two-part question, sir. Okay, Gavin, what's your question? Question one. Is it a good strategy to combine two, three, three, two, one with points by down on top of it? And then, no, you can't do that. You got, it's, it's pick your poison. You can do either either one. You can't do three a three two one buy down and do a permanent buy down at the same time. It's two different products, two different things, not products. So that's question one. Where's your question two? And shout out to California. We do California too. And no, no more Tooks. Tooks is not my production manager anymore. Well, I spoke to Tooks today. That's my brother. Shout out to him. His podcast is doing amazing. We're actually going to meet up, I think, Wednesday or Thursday, something like that. So shout out to my brother, Tooks. All right. What's question two? Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. HP Supreme Crypto. Make sure you email us, man. Let's help you get that crib in Florida. Storm, I need you in the academy. I need you to learn all about these rehab loans. All right, question two. Here you go. Have the property owned by LLC in order to write off as expenses, various fees, and taxes that would not be available to me otherwise? Uh, yeah, if it's a true investment property, you're going to get more deductions and write-offs if you're doing a true investment property. 
right? And you can't put it in your LLC if you're doing a true investment property. InvestFest, get your tickets for InvestFest. Go to InvestFest.com, InvestFest.com. Get your tickets August 23rd, August 23rd to 25th. August 23rd to the 25th. August 23rd to the 25th. Get your tickets today. Okay. InvestFest is in Atlanta. InvestFest is in Atlanta. InvestFest is in Atlanta. All right. So, uh, what three hundred man? Real estate. Every state has demand for real estate. Do you think sales of homes will pick up? Yes. When rates get a little bit lower. Yes. Uh, what's your topics for InvestFest this year? Uh, everything. Uh, we, we're talking about real estate, crypto, heavy on technology, AI and other things. Uh, entrepreneurship, obviously. So we got a lot of things going on. A lot. All right, so that's all I got. We've been on here for about 45 minutes. I don't want to keep this live long. It's 7 o'clock, and I'm on Daddy Daycare tonight. All right, uh, can you put a DSCR loan in your LLC? Uh, you need to join MG Mortgage Academy as well, Josh. Uh, join MGMortgageAcademy.com today, please. Uh, if, these type of questions. If you don't know these type of things, you need to come to the academy so you can get a higher learning on real estate financing. Go to MGMortgageAcademy.com. This is the number one resource for you guys. Right now, the price is only one ninety seven or something like that annually. It's going to go up to like fifteen hundred dollars. So please join today, MG Mortgage Academy. I'm gonna put the link in the description. Join today because when it goes to fifteen hundred dollars, don't ask me for the one ninety seven price because it's going to fifteen hundred dollars this week. All right, so that's all I got for y'all. We are live. We are blessed. Thank God for another day, Matt Garland, NMLS number five eight seven zero zero. But I'm better known as MG the Mortgage Guy. Peace.